Red Lutheran High School, where tonight the Crusaders host city rival Sheboygan Christian. Hello, everybody. Alongside the coach, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Chris, uh, Christian beat Lutheran the first time around. They played an excellent game, but since that time, they lost one of their taller players, Kyle Stecker. That's going to prove to be a problem tonight. Yeah, that was a great game, like you mentioned, Marty. The last game, I think Sheboy and Christian shot about 60%. You know, Coach Flips, he said, oh, my team can't shoot. Well, they shut the lights out that night, and I think caught Sheboygan and Lutheran, you know, by surprise, 71-69. to 69. Very exciting ball game, went right down to the end, and definitely uh, having your third leading scorer out of the game is going to hurt Sheboygan and Christian tonight on the road. Had a chance to talk with Brett, Brett Flipsy earlier, and he was talking about the importance of tonight's game. Uh, they played Oosberg really tough. They only lost by, I think, 13 points, where uh, Lutheran just got hammered by him. But he also said they lost to Elkhart Lake, which was a, a, a bad sign. They need to win tonight so when they go to the seeding meeting, they can say, well, we beat Lutheran twice. Yeah, that would be a nice thing, and that's, that's got to be the uh, thing. Is, uh, Schweig and Lutheran is team that's now second in the conference. I think both coaches actually have done a great job. Coach Flipsy's team was picked for seventh there and fifth. They're a very young squad like that. And any experience they can get in games like this and even in the tournament is going to help them for next year as well. A pretty good scoring on the uh, Lutheran side. Tyler Flips, uh, Tyler Zastro is averaging 19 points a game. And uh, Jacob Jurs is averaging 50, and he's definitely a threat from the outside. Yeah, those two are the best uh, scoring duo in the whole league. And Lutheran, too, another team that was picked for fourth there in second place. And they, they are doing very well, a great year this year. You know, very hard for a new coaching thing. But you're right. Jacob Jurs, I love the way he shoots the three. And, and uh, Tyler Zastro, what's his last name? Zastro, never saw a shot he didn't like. <laughs> That's a Zastro for you. Hey, in terms of conference standings, uh, Oosberg's pretty much got it wrapped up. They're 14-0. Lutheran has three losses, uh, but they can solidify their hold on second place. Yeah, and as I said, that's a great thing. They were picked for fourth. You know, you lost the state player of the year, the sixth man for uh, University of Wisconsin, that Sam Decker kid. And, you know, everyone said, oh, they're just going to fall off a little bit. Well, they haven't. The second place in the league is nothing to scrap at. Oostburg is very successful. Coach Brunick's got a great program over there. And Sheboygan Lutheran as well is very, very young. So they're building for next year as well. In terms of the seating meeting, we mentioned about the importance for uh, Christian saying they've beaten Lutheran twice. You know, it's also important for Lutheran to say, hey, we didn't lose to Christian either. Yeah, and that's what I just talked to Coach Verhagen. I just said, oh, your seating look like he's hoping to get a two or a three or something like that. But he says, I got to win tonight first. Right. All right, we're going to get some young fellas here. They're going to tell us their name. They had uh, Junior Crusader night. Fellas, when I stick the mic in your face, tell me your name. Nolan. What's your name, kiddo? William. Ben. I know this guy back here. Dylan. Austin. Lucas. Elliot. What's your last name, Elliot? Light Palm. You guys are all over the place, you Light Palm people. Spencer. No talking in class. What's your name? Zachary. Mason. Owen. Andrew. Andrew. There you go. Lele Palm. Abigail. Nathan. Andrew. Andrew. Stick her on here, kid. Hi. My name is. And we got to get a girl in here. What's your name, honey? Emma. All right. We're going to step out when we come back. We'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's game. Great job, kids. Give yourselves a big round of applause. This easy to help your kids find balance, but you have more power than you know. For a free parent's handbook plus other resources, visit the WeCan website. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. 
Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Did you know that 90% of all eye injuries can be prevented by simply wearing proper eye protection? I'm Dr. Tamara Fountain for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. I see firsthand how vision problems can affect lives. We recommend that every household keep protective eyewear on hand to use during home projects and other activities that can cause injuries. Know your risks, save your sight. To learn more about eye health, visit GetEyeSmart.org. I wouldn't let my peeps drop drunk. Do you? Do you? Do you? I got one. Do you? Actually, I got two. Designated drivers, that is. Keep your head screwed on straight. Don't drive drunk. I don't. Do you? Do you? Do, do you? you? Don't drink and drive. We don't. Do you? Brought to you by Rad, Terry Fader, and My Safe Ride Home. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. I'm looking for my safe ride home. Do you?
we are courtside. We usually don't get these kind of seats. By the way, before I get any further, uh, Luther is coached by Nick Verhagen in his first year. And Christian controls the uh, tap. Brady Adi is at the controls. Drive to the hoop and the shot underlay by uh, Josh Stecker. Lutheran comes away. And Juris driving right down the lane, but he gets fouled on the way. Ball's going to be on Adi. We're uh, bringing you this game live, and uh, again, we ask for your comments. Let us know how it's going. I know it didn't go so good the night of the North-South game. Hopefully we got that ironed out. Zastro, the left-hander, couldn't get his shot in. And the ball goes out of bounds. Right by Eric Wiesman with the camera. And Gary Klein from the press standing right there, getting some shots. Christian just beats the 10-second uh, count. Wow, a little more attention to defense, I think, for Lutheran tonight. Wayne Christian really shot well last game. Shot in the lane is no good. Sheely with the uh, with the rebound, and then uh, the ball is saved by Rasmussen right to Adi. And good ball movement. Three-point attempt is up and in by Caleb Kelly. That's our first score of the night, three to nothing, Christian. The Eagles come into tonight's game with a record of uh, six and 12, five and seven in conference. Adi got to the hoop, Chris, but uh, couldn't finish. And we are up and down the floor, Marky. Yeah, I can't write it down before there's a shot up. We're not used to this kind of a pace. Six shots at a minute 45, just like you like it, Marty. Yeah, that's exactly or, right. If you could shoot that quick, you would. Was that Jack Wilson? 138 points <laughs> earlier in the year? Zastro under pressure in the lane. His shot didn't go. Ball is rebounded by Kelly. Kelly with a little behind between the leg dribble. Gets a shot off, but uh, couldn't get it in. And uh, Sheely falls down, it'll be a travel. That's a tough call. He was bumped and that's why he fell. And so that's when you should make the call. If he doesn't fall, you let it go. But uh, that's a tough break for that kid. And Kelly inside with an easy two. Defensive breakdown there. Zastro behind the back. Pass is uh, intercepted by uh, Stecker. It's five to nothing. Christian with a good start. Actually, it's uh, Kelly beating Luther, five to nothing. Adi trying to get it to the basket. Good help defense that time by uh, Ben Leipum. Well, Brady Adi doesn't score a lot. He only averages 4.7 a game. But uh, he does like to drive and then dish off. That's what Brady does very well. He's very quick. That's number 11. He's kind of like the Elmer's glue on this team. He holds things together. Well, we have a possession here. Yeah, this has I been mean, a long one. <laughs> And Stecker throws it away. Juris has it. And trying to make the steal was uh, Josh Stecker, but uh, he commits the foul instead. Nate Hosenstein and uh, Jacob Ames checking in for the Crusaders. Ames goes 6'3", Chris. He looks taller than that. Yep. 
He's just a junior as well, I believe. You're right. No, yes. And a nice pass, and Hosenstein with an easy two. I didn't catch who made the nice pass. I think it was Juris. And Zastro almost with a steal. Adi keeping it. Shot is off. Good rebound by Kelly, and a putback is good. Kelly's off to a great start. And uh, attempted steal by Rasmussen, but he stepped on the line. Jeff Hess coming in. Christian looking to get an open, Luther looking to get an open shot. Christian playing the tough defense. Pass is stolen away from Phil Leipom. Third turnover on Lutheran already. Kelly with a step back jumper is oh. off. Boy, he had a good look and uh, got it up on the, the rim, but it rim didn't want it. Yeah, he, that's his first miss. Three of four tonight, and that one is real close. Hess has it on top. Inside feed to uh, Hosenstein, but uh, he couldn't catch it. Not crisp on the passes, Lutheran. Hess driving to the basket, scores. Good shot by that young man. He was instrumental last year in uh, Lutheran's run to state. Had a nice season. Yep. Hess a junior. A lot of playing time as a sophomore. Wow. Charge not called. And then uh, grabbing the rebound was Hosenstein. Foul goes on uh, Josh Stecker, his second, Chris. Stecker coming out, Nadi coming out. Coming in is uh, Ben Andringa. Juris, good look at the three-point attempt, but couldn't get it in. Zastro comes away with the loose ball. Graham Verveldi also in for uh, Christian. Ames' shot from outside is no good. And a timeout by Christian. 30-second timeout. I don't think uh, Coach Flipsy's very happy with his squad, Chris. Uh, too many offensive rebounds, I think, is kind of the problem there. It's early three already for Lutheran. Christian's got to do a little bit better on the boards. Sporting and Lutheran on the other end is just two of ten shooting. And uh, they've missed all five of their threes, Marty. They've had a couple of real nice looks. They just uh, can't get it to go down. Well... You know, not, you know my philosophy on that. If you're not making them, keep shooting them. Yep. <laughs> They'll go in eventually. Yep. Might not beat El Amaro, but... Right. Swaya Lutheran's made 63s on the season. They do like to shoot the three. So far, just not going in. And I'll tell you, these officials want to get back to Green Bay. <laughs> <laughs> they are letting them play a little bit. And uh, right there, out of a timeout... Come puts the in. ball down. That's a freshman thing, not a varsity thing. I'm not so sure that's the best thing for an official. Oh, man. Wide open look for uh, number 24, Graham Verveldi, and he couldn't get it to go. Not going to get much easier shot than that. Zastro. Oh, he was fouled. Foul and no call. Kelly on the push. Stops and pops. And no good. Andrew Korber in the game, number 30. Started tonight. Inside feed to Andrew. His turnaround jumper is good. 6'5", tallest kid on the floor. Yeah, it's 9-4. Christian on top. 
Lutheran definitely having their troubles with uh, making field goals. A little bit of zone here, and uh, it's kind of a matchup zone. Fastro couldn't get it in. Eames pulls the rebound away, and then he's fouled on the putback. Ames will be uh, shooting a pair. Ball goes on Andringa. Chili Phil Ipom come in. Free throw makes it nine to five. Austin Black in the ball game, along with Adi. Under a minute, Marty. Yeah, he's been rolling. Bad Taylor's quarter. Astro, number 34, also checked in for Lutheran. Steal by Juris. And the ball is tipped away. Good hustle by Vervaldi. Five seconds left in the quarter. Block rolling, 10 seconds. Hess pulls it way out. Juris, fade away, no good. And that's the quarter. At the end of one quarter of play, Christian on top, nine to five. Green, green, green. It's your home, it's your dream. Great on testing, keep it healthy and clean. Make it green, green. Making it green starts from the ground up, so make sure the air in your home is healthy for your family to breathe. Test your home for the presence of radon. Go to epa.gov slash radon. Make it green, green, green.
Inside feed to Lightroom. Hill puts it up and in. And we're tied. Been there all night. Foul is going to go on uh, Tyler Zastro. It's only the second team foul on uh, on the Crusaders. You know, it's one of those situations. I think the referee is going to go in at halftime and you know talk that over again. I think there was something right there. <laughs> they looked nine to one because they've been pretty physical and oh, a nice pull-up jump shot by uh, Verveldi. Got two big buckets here. Yeah, he's come off the bench and done a nice job. Coach, uh, pardon me, Coach. <laughs> Referee Dave Birkin overruling his partner Tom Keel on the out of bounds situation. Coach for Verhagen not happy with that. Christian back with the lead. They've led most of the ball game. Pushed by Verveldi, not called. Big minutes for James Rasmussen running the show out there. Sheely with the good defense. Kelly gets trapped underneath, and then they're going to call him for a travel. That's his third uh, turnover of the quarter, Marty. Andrew Korber back in the ball game. Well, he's dribbling down to where he shouldn't be. He's got to know better than that. Not get stuck down there. Just a sophomore, Caleb. Zastro, kiss off the glass, no good. And then Phil Lightbomb's shot attempt is no good. Well, a couple of good looks for the Crusaders and the poor shooting continues. They've only got one basket here in the quarter and Chile with a great block, but uh, got him with the body. Only three baskets all half for uh, Luther. Graham Verveldi off the bench has played a nice there. You get a good shot of uh, Nick Verhagen. Well, I don't think it's going to be 71 69, Marty, tonight. Unless they go to overtime. <laughs> Yeah, really. Maybe a couple overtimes. Uh, good defense by Kelly. Got a two-on-one. Decides not to pass it. Wow. Wow. And fall underneath. A lot of contact on that first one. I never liked that. Either call one or the other in high school when someone gets bro bowled over like that. Somebody either was blocking or fouling in the, to start with. Yeah, yeah, the charge looked pretty uh, obvious. You know, yeah, and when there's co so much contact, this is high school, this isn't, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously there's some contact one way or the other because two people collided, so it's gotta either be on the, on the offense or the, or the defense. On the line is Josh Stecker. Trying to make a two in a row, and he can't. Chile with the board. Chile's got two fouls now, Chris. And he's got five rebounds. Chile's opened underneath the basket a lot too, Marty. Yeah, I don't think he's real comfortable taking that shot, though. That's why they're leaving him open. Hosenstein in the game. Well, Chile takes it, I was wrong. Maybe he does like to shoot. Another miss, though, by the Crusaders. And Christian's lead is back up to four. Hosenstein, the ball hit his foot. Hosenstein inside off a nice pass from Zastro, but he gets fouled. You know, it was a really good pass to get it through the defense, but I almost think the catch was the play. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how do you see that ball and still catch it? Yeah. Lutheran gets three of 19 from the floor. 
Adi back in. And uh, so is Ben Andringa. Taking a chance with Adi, Chris. Three falls. Yeah, that's a very strange play. You better remember that he's got three because of the, uh, you know, because of the uh, technical. That's yeah. a personal. Adi has it on top. There's two minutes left in the half. Luth Lutheran trailing by two. Done it all, except for one basket here in the second quarter on free throws. Another uh, pretty long possession here for Christian. Korber, no good. Kelly had the ball taken away by Zastro, and then uh, getting it right back was Andringa. Andringa from outside the line, in and out. Castro inside, inside to Sheely. He's fouled on the shot attempt. Ball goes on Korber, his first. I would not have Brady Adi in here, Marty. No, not with, I, I agree with Not with, with a you. minute. You're right. Juris back in. For Hosenstein. Waiting to check in is Taylor Zastro for Sheely. And Stecker getting ready to come back in with his two falls. Oh, can't do that. Oh, they're going to let the substitutes come in. Wow. Isn't there a rule about that? I don't know. Under a minute. Given the foul situation, Chris, it might be a great idea to just play for one, even though there is a lot of time. Well, this game is up and down, but... Uh... <laughs> we had mentioned that real early about the pace up and down action, but it certainly hasn't translated into points, no. has it? No, and it's a really fast half, actually. Rebeldi being guarded by Ames, 20 seconds left. It's been over a 30 second possession. Shot is around and down by Rasmussen. And stolen away by Kelly. Up to Stecker, he lays it off the glass and in. And we're at halftime. Wow, we a quick five points makes it 22 to 15. Time was, kids did what came naturally, spending free time running through the grass, exploring streams. But times have changed. Today's indoor kids spend more than seven hours in front of electronic media. That's why National Wildlife Federation created the Be Out There movement. Outdoor play improves kids' health, body, mind, and spirit. It helps them stay fit, enhances creativity, and could even make them better students. There's a reason they call it the great outdoors. Learn more at BeOutThere.org. Be out Hello, I'm Dr. Regina Benjamin, U.S. Surgeon General. Breastfeeding is a preventive measure that can protect babies from illnesses and infections. And there are also health benefits for mothers. While 75% of American mothers start out breastfeeding, only 13% of babies are exclusively breastfed at the end of six months. And the rates are much lower for African American infants. Whether you're a grandmother or an employer, you can help make it easier, easier for moms, moms to breastfeed. breastfeed. For, for more, more information, information, please go to surgeongeneral.gov. 
Local government, local educational institutions, and local community members all use cable access TV to communicate their message. They depend upon it as an affordable means of outreach. Public educational and government access television empowers local government agencies, individuals, and groups to use the media to speak directly to their constituents in a more direct and cost-effective way. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. The preteen years are a challenging time, but they're also a good time to think about your child's health, which is why, if you're the parent of an 11 or 12 year old, you need to know about preteen vaccines. Vaccines that can protect your preteen from meningitis, whooping cough, and for girls, the virus that causes cervical cancer. So schedule a checkup for your child today and ask about preteen vaccines because your preteen might think that they're grown up, but they're counting on you to know better. Brought to you by DHHS and the CDC. And then uh, those five quick points right at the end of the half really hurt. They were only down by two. They had a three-point basket by Rasmussen and a steal and a basket by uh, Stecker. Berber, Rasmussen with a three attempt. He's got another one. Where has he been all night? It's 25 to 15. And Kelly's going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second. It'll be interesting to see, Chris, how the foul situation goes here in the second half. A lot of fouls on Christian in the first half. Uh, and uh, it showed up on the free throw line too. Vervaldi with a layup and he missed it. Lipon Disastro, a runner off the glass, no good. And out of bounds off of Phil Lipon. Lutheran shot 15, 14 free throws in the first half but only made eight. Uh, they did get seven bench points, though. Uh, Hosenstein with four. And uh, I thought the key guy in that first half was Graham Verbeldi, number 24. He had five points off the bench and uh, played a good floor game when Adi was out. Shot no good. Uh, Christian in the first half was only two for four from the free throw line. Good pass off by uh, Zastro and Shealy gliding down the lane puts it up and in. Shealy now with three points. Six minutes left in the third quarter. Rasmussen being double teamed but able to get the pass off. He gets it inside and we're going to get a charging foul on Korber. Turned right into the defense and knocked him over. Coach Flipsy not happy about that call. Oh no. Technical fall on Brett Flipsy. Oh, he. Referee is uh, not going to take much uh, grief, huh, Chris? Going to the line is Ben Lightbomb. Lutheran has made uh, hay on those technicals, Chris. They're four for four from the line. Well, I've written them both down, Marty, so if it comes into play, I think it's kind of important. We'll see what happens. Zastro, the high scorer, Chris, does not have a point. Lightbomb missed a layup. Phil Leipom and then Ben Leipom. 
Well, they're going to get Phil with the foul, so he missed the layup and picks up the foul. You know, it just seems like things are getting tighter and tighter on the string for Lutheran. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, nothing's going right. And uh, they're just not playing with ease because of it. Phil Leipom on a no-look pass over to uh, Ben Leipom for an easy two. You watch Lutheran sometimes, I mean, they look very, very good. And other times they just look very nervous. And give Trip Coach Flipsy credit for his team. I mean, they are very prepared. They seem to be more in control of the situation, despite the fact the foul situation. Rasmus, they just keep putting baskets in. Yeah, Rasmussen had a good look, couldn't get it. Kelly with the rebound, he couldn't get it. And all of a sudden, Christian can't buy a basket. Sastro got it over to Sheely, who had a good look, but didn't take the shot. Sastro with a 14-footer is off. It's 25 to 21. Christian on top. Christian looking for their first points of the quarter, and we're almost at the four-minute mark. Adi had a look, but wouldn't take it. Time out by Christian. Full time out, Scott. So just when we got the picture back, we can go to a commercial. Lutheran High School, and there you see Brett Flipsy uh, talking to the troops. It's been a long quarter for them. They actually had a three coming right out of the blocks, Chris. Uh, they do have points this quarter. Three-pointer by Rasmussen. Lutheran is 5 of 24 from the floor. Hey, they actually got two baskets this quarter. They're on a roll. 10 of 31 for Sheboygan Christian. They have the lead, 25 to 21 in the basketball. Christian in blue, Lutheran in white. It's rolling under the uh, four minute mark of the third quarter. Rasmussen with a dump down inside, knocked out of bounds by uh, Phil Leipom. Sheely playing the good D on the post. Seems like every time Lutheran gets close, Christian bombs one in, Marty. Or makes a small little run just to keep that lead. See if they can do it again. Well, they're showing great, great patience on this uh, possession until he threw it away. Zastro going hard to the basket, scores, and he's fouled. His first points of the game. Missed his first seven, Marty. He's one of eight from the floor. Leading scorer in the league. Oh, my goodness. Guess who picked up the foul? Brady Adi, his fourth. And coming in for him is uh, Josh Stecker. Wow, we. Well, 329 of the third. He didn't get it too early, but you never want to get it at all. Right. Oh, ball is stolen away. Zastro wanted to take the shot before he had the ball. Inside feet is stolen away. Poor decision by Zastro. That's his fourth turnover. Vervelde, Korber, his shot was blocked. Juris is going to pick up the foul. Will be on the line shooting a pair. This will be the sixth free throw of the game for uh, Christian. 
Lutheran has shot 16. Ober gets the second. They are three for six so far on the night. Andrews played a very nice game. Andrew Corber and Ben Lightbaum, the two major seniors on the, each squad that won't be back. Basically everybody else will be back next year. Losing the ball on the shot attempt was Ben Lightbaum. And you're right, you know, just when uh, Lutheran gets close, Christian uh, bounces right back. And Lightbaum with the tip, it goes off of uh, Graham Verveldi. The Crusaders are gonna have it back. Turnovers are mounting now for Christian, a problem for Lutheran in the first half. They have now 11, four in the quarter in the first three min uh, five minutes of the quarter here. Astro trying to probe to get through the defense, but uh, Christian's been onto it. Juris with a basket. His first. He missed his first. Five. At the 235 mark, Lutheran uh, was able to tie it up. Rivaldi trying to get it in. Good cover up defense by the Crusaders. Shot is off by Andringa and Sheely with the rebound. Sheely gets called for the charge. Good call, coach. And that's Sheely's third. Jeff Hess, pardon me, Nate Hosenstein in. I would have liked to see Phil attack the basket there a little bit. Light palm. Ames is going to come in for Sheely. Actually, uh, that first substitution, Hosenstein, was for Phil Light palm. Rasmussen at the controls. He did a pretty good job in that uh, first half, Chris, when Adi was out. He'll have to do it again here. Astro involved in that turnover. Astro from in the lane couldn't get it. Seemed like he had a pretty good look, Chris. He's just not shooting well. I didn't think he. I didn't, didn't think it was a good shot at all. <laughs> Kelly, no good, and oh. a takedown. Holy cow! Stecker with a takedown, and we're gonna have to see what they call here. Going down very hard was Ben Lipom. Gonna call it a turnover. It should have been a foul call. Watch it over the the key's moving. <laughs> Rivaldi broke open underneath the basket, but they missed him. Zastro uh, doing a good job of helping out on the defense, Chris. He's all over the court. But just not smart on the reaches. Yes, and Taylor's Astro comes in. Stecker uh, tosses it in. Kelly's been pretty quiet since that uh, good first half, Chris. Yeah, you, you're exactly right. He had nine at halftime, he still has nine. Yeah, he's 0 for three in the quarter. Rivaldi. Zastro's gonna get called for the fall, that was a good call. Taylor Zastro picking up his first. Less than a minute left in the quarter, It's uh, we're still tied at 26. Eames. Double dribble, reaches. And I'll tell you, they don't want to call a foul. Eames had him by the arm, no call. 
And then he got fouled on the shot. Foul's gonna go on uh, Jers. gets the second and that gives uh, Christian the lead, 27-26. 35 seconds left. Juris from deep and he's got it. First, Long three. First lead of the night for Lutheran, Marty. Yep, first lead of the night. Came with about 25 seconds remaining. Pass on a nice catch and a good stop, and he puts it in. 12 seconds, and Dringo looking for help. Gets it to Rasmussen. And another foul on the Crusaders. Rasmussen forcing the issue and causing uh, Taylor Zastro to commit his second foul. Well, Chris, excuse me, Lutheran only had three baskets in the whole first half. Now Christian only has one in the third quarter. Yeah. Pretty amazing the way this game has been going. We don't want to use this at the shooting clinic. Well, they shot so well at the last uh, game, they... Rasmussen knocks home a pair. Three. Rastro off the glass and out. It's been like that all night, and we're at the end of three quarters of play. Lutheran on top, 31-29. I can have text all night long, but not when I'm driving. What's the point of texting me about a party that you might not make it to? I don't text and drive. Do you? Do you? Do you? Did you say text or sex? Hey, I got an idea. As long as you're texting, why don't you write your own obituary, dumb ass? I don't text and drive. Do you? We don't text and drive. Do you? Brought to you by Rad Terry Vader and his cast of thousands. Friends don't let friends text and drive. Party! Do you? Did you know early signs of eye disease and vision changes start to occur around age 40? I'm Dr. Ann Coleman for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. I see firsthand how vision problems can affect lives. We are urging adults to get a baseline eye disease screening at age 40. If you have any risk factors or signs of eye disease, see an ophthalmologist right away. Know your risks. Save your sight. To learn more, visit GetEyeSmart.org. Action at uh, Lutheran High School. It's been a dandy here tonight. The shooting has not been good, but it's certainly been a close ball game. There you see it, Lutheran on top, 31-29. Almost 50% shooting for Lutheran there. Six of 13 in a quarter, there. nine of 32. And uh, Christian is really Cold that quarter, one of 18 there, 10 of 33. So that's why the game is so close. And Dringa's shot is no good. And then Kelly called for the travel as he tried to put it back up. <laughs> Juris feeling it, couldn't get it in. Just hit a three from that spot. Caleb Kelly's shot is no good. And then uh, Phil Leipom tips it out of bounds. Lutheran one of 14 from three, Marty. Whoops. Jersh's three was the only one. Oh. Stecker under pressure. His shot is no good. Rasmussen gets a loose ball and puts it up and in. And a quick timeout by Christian, I believe. 32nd timeout. You know, we've seen that a lot this year, Chris. I think this is the third game in a row where a team scores and then all of a sudden the coach calls a timeout. 
And he's, you can't see it, but Chris is shaking his head like, what for? Yeah, we just scored. Yeah, we just scored. I think the reason for the timeout was so they could make this announcement. Oh, okay. The lady was waiting at the table. 25-17 when a technical took place, Marty. Uh, obviously, since that time, you know, it's now back to even, but basically, since the technical on Coach Slipsy at the 538 mark, you know, they've only scored six points in almost, you know, seven minutes of play. All righty, we're all tied up. 714 left in the game. I'll tell you, they'd have loved the baseline, don't they? And Phil Leipom not able to catch the pass. Another turnover by the Crusaders. 13, wide open. Shot by Rebelde, back. no good. Oh, oh, wow. And we're gonna get a foul on Andringa from behind. That's tough because... <laughs> yeah, there was a foul before uh, that. that was called. <laughs> I think that was on Ben Lightbomb and he knows, <laughs> knows it. Yeah. Uh, team foul situation, Lutheran has seven. Christian has five. Well, they work the ball around nice, but it's not resulting in a shot. And Zastro steps back. His shot is in and out. Get up, get up. Rolling down to the six minute mark. Still tied at 31. That was a nice idea. Well, it was a chancy pass. Astro with a behind the back pass, and he gets called for the charge. That's his third foul. And Lutheran's bringing up the pressure, but uh, Christian, no trouble breaking at that time. Nope. Giving up the dribble, and what are you going to do with it? I'll give up your dribble until you're uh, going to pass it or shoot it. A ball tipped away from Rasmussen. And Zastro trying to dribble through four different defenders. Rasmussen picks up his second foul, and that's the uh, sixth foul on... Uh, Christian, Luther now with eight. Still tied at 31. Sheely trying to set a screen and then Zastro throws it away again. Verveldi, great shot. A good tip away by Stecker, he read that. And he fakes, shoots it, and he's gonna get called for the charge. That was a good call. He was there plenty of time. Come out, sir! Luther calls a timeout. There you see the steal, and watch Zastro get in position. That was great defense there, Chris. Full time out, Scott. Let's take a short break. Cable access channels are critical tools for local government. They provide important information about issues, services, and programs, as well as local emergencies. They also allow you to watch your local elected officials in action. Through the provision of governmental access channels, our communities are kept informed, educated, and entertained. Where else can you get information about your local government? Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local government access channel. Back at Lutheran High School, and there you see uh, Coach Nick Verhagen talking to uh, the troops. And on the other side, you've got uh, Christian. Uh, they have the lead. Hate to put you on the spot, Chris, but uh, how many turnovers does each team have about? 
I have, <coughs> excuse me, 16 turnovers on Sheboygan Lutheran. And 17 turnovers on Christian. Oh, pretty high. Very high. Yep. Uh, we're back in action. Uh, Zastro back out there. Juris, wide open three, and it bounces over the backboard. No good. Under five minutes left. Nine of 35 shooting now for Sheboygan Lutheran. Christian can be real smart here. They got the lead in the basketball. Juris with the good hands. And gets it over to uh, Kelly. And uh, Ben Leipom commits the foul. No, it's on Juris. Okay, they call it on Juris. That's his third. Kelly will be at the line shooting a pair. Actually, that was the bonus. He needed to make that to get the second one. With 4.33, Brady Otte comes back in with his four falls. Let's see how that plays out. Evan Stecker have four fouls too. For them? I got him with three. Okay. A good cover up defense by Vervelde to get on Zastro before he could get the three pointer off. Good call, Marty. Juris. We're going to call a travel. Wow. Just shoot the ball. Jacob, you should just have shot the ball. I mean, it's just that simple. You're going to see it here. I don't think it was the right call, but just shoot it. I don't know what's going on. Not a lot of action. Not We're a lot. Two action. And the ball is out of bounds. I don't know who they're going to give it to. They're giving it to Christian. Another turnover by the Crusaders. <laughs> they're down four, 35-31. Well, Four minutes left. Eagles had a turnover right before that. Yeah. The Stecker almost lost it. Good hands by Zastro. Pick it up, man. Josh Stecker's going to get called for the fall. I think that. That is his fifth, you're right. I missed one. And the leading score for the season for Christian fouls out. At the 345 mark, Marty. That one hurts. Zastro will be at the line. He made his only free throw attempt back in the third quarter. James Rasmussen comes in for uh, Josh Stecker. Decker finished with only three points, Chris. First point of the quarter for uh, Lutheran. Tyler not having one of his best nights. One of ten from the floor and seven turnovers. And that free throw rims out. 35-32. Christian on top. They played a good basketball game. They've... Uh, Pretty much answered the runs that uh, Lutheran is throwing at him. Yeah, and Kelly, when he got that rebound, that was number 11 for him. Excuse me, 10 for him. He's looking at a double double if he can get that 10th point. 3.15 left in the ball game. Zastro grab a foot. Get called for a foul. And that's four for him. Oh, 
That was the 10th foul, Chris. They're going to be in the super bonus the rest of the game. Eight for 14, eight for 13. Eight for 14. Wow. Zastro to the basket and he scores. Chris almost got run over. Good hustle by Brady Adi. Yeah. One point gain, three minutes left. By the time this is over, we may have the two leading scores for each team not on the floor. And Dringo with a three attempt, no good. Zastro, pull up in the lane, scores. Lutheran on top, 36-35. Rolling down two and a half minutes left. Zastro getting hot at the right time, Chris. Zastro has four fouls. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Inside oh. feed to Kelly. He put the shoulder down and turned into the defense. Well, there's nothing the official could do but call an offensive foul. It's the fourth one on, third one on Kelly. And I thought that was a good call too, Marty. You hit her right on the head. Even before he just pulled right. He's a tough kid that Caleb Kelly. Just a sophomore. He's a good one. Luthen with the lead being patient. Zastro had a shot blocked by Verveldi and they're gonna call a foul. For uh, Graham, I've got that as his first foul and it is. Zastro will be at the line. I don't think he thought he got him either, Marty. I think you called it right on the block there. Yeah, just, just tipped the ball and see what see it is. Couldn't see much contact there. Good replay, Scott. Zastro with a pair. Wasn't that 35-31, Marty? Yep. 7-0 run. Thank you. Actually, it was an 8-0 run by uh, Christian. They were down 31-27, and they ran off eight in a row to uh, get that lead, 35-31. There we are, uh, Marty. Yeah, how about that? Great shot, Eric. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you're right, now it's an eight point run, seven point run for uh, Lutheran to uh, get the lead back. They have a three point lead with under two minutes left, 158. Very interesting ball game. Sheboygan Lutheran comes in averaging 63 points a game. They're hoping to get to 40. <laughs> exactly. Christian, who uh, likes low scoring games, they're averaging 48, but just give it, giving up 57. But uh, I'll tell you, give Coach Flipsy credit again. He's got his guys prepared and ready to play this Lutheran squad two times in a row. He might come away with a sweep yet. You know, Zastro didn't have any points in the first half. Tyler, he got that three point play. Yeah, in the third, and now all of a sudden he's run off two, four, six, seven straight points. He's got ten in the game. And just like that, Chris, he's uh, made an impact. Yeah, he's three of 12. You, well, you say you got to keep shooting, and Tyler's too good of a player to, to, to miss. Keep missing all those shots. Christian's got to come up with something here. They're down three. Kelly's their guy. Kelly to the lane, and scores. Nice move right down Main Street. His first basket of the second half, Marty. He had such a nice start. Yeah, and he's got a double-double now. Zastro taking it right down Main Street on the other end. And uh, he doesn't make the basket, but he's going to be shooting a pair. Not a bad foul. Make them, make them at the line. Make them, make it. That's not a good word, Chris. Make them do it from the line. <laughs> make them shoot it from the line and earn it. Got the first, though. John Hosman did it. Oh, he misses a second one. 39, 37. 130 left. Lutheran on top. 
Christian. Kelly's got it again. Zastro steps out on him. Oh, and yeah. that time it rolls in. Great Caleb Kelly. We've had how many of those tonight where they've bounced out and that one uh, rolled in for them? It's about time. Juris, they got the weave going. Pretty good defense by the uh, Eagles. Oh, Lightbox throws it away. He looked like he had a shot inside. Rasmussen had the ball tipped. Adi got the loose ball, threw it back out. Good play by Brady. Under a minute, we're tied, 39-39. Don't want to foul. Time out by uh, Coach Flipsy. <laughs> Adi doing his best metal arc lemon routine. <laughs> well, with 32.4 seconds left, Chris, what are you going to do? Well, obviously he'd love to hold it for one, but I don't think they're going to be able to do that. I think there's going to be too much pressure from Lutheran, and the, the fact that they can't, you know, really take care of the ball very well, I mean, let's face it, they have 18 turnovers. I get the best shot available. I know the logical thing, oh, let's hold it and hold it, but I'm sure that's what he's telling his guys, but get the shot, best shot available. Adding up the free throws. Lutheran has shot 23, Chris, or 15 for 23. That's uh, about 60%, not really very good. If I was wrong, it's 19 turnovers on uh, Christian. But uh, they're in the driver's seat. You have the basketball, but you got to now get it in. Yeah. Well, they got Rasmussen can shoot it. Gravelli's got five points. You got to pay attention to him. Caleb. Uh, Vervelli is uh, obviously the guy. Yeah, Vervelli had you got to pay attention to. Yeah, Vervelli had a couple of them shots and been pretty clutch in there too. He had five in the first half. He's another one that uh, he's got a basket there, missed a couple free throws, so he has seven on the night. Price Corber's not in. Maybe you have the big guy here. Uh, Andringa's played a good uh, good game. They've gotten him in. Yeah. He's uh, kept Corber out. Kelly's got it on top, being guarded by uh, Ben Light, Phil Lightbaum. 20 seconds. You want to get close enough to get a five second if you're Lutheran, but they're going to let him out there. This, this is a good thing for Christian. Harris wants to help. Under 10. Kelly down the lane, shooting, no good. Harris with the rebound, he's going to have a shot attempt. And it's no good, we're going into overtime. A good defensive possession by uh, Luther. But I'll tell you, Kelly still got it down the lane for a great shot. Yep. Uh, let's take a short break, Scott, so we can catch our breath and we'll go into OT. Engineers Without Borders USA answers the call with more than 225 university and professional chapters from a wide spectrum of disciplines. With more than 400 sustainable engineering projects in more than 45 countries, our organization is changing the world. If you would like to find out more about how you, too, can change the world, visit www.ewb-usa.org and click Get Involved. Engineers Without Borders USA. Building a better world, one community at a time. <laughs> Back at uh, Lutheran High School, we're getting ready to start the uh, first overtime period. It's uh, been a very interesting ball game. Not, ex not very well played for uh, the purest of us uh, with all the turnovers and the, the very poor shooting. But uh, it's certainly been interesting and entertaining. Also, uh, two technicals. Uh, you know, all the games we've covered so far this year, uh, I think we've had one technical, and then in this game now we've had two. Barber back in the game, Chris. You asked for him, and you got him. Well, I just saw it because of his height. Maybe he was on a shot there. He could have maybe tipped it in or something like that. And that's why I would have probably had him in there. Barber gets the tap. Hey, is Brady Adi taking a shot tonight? Mm, yes, he's 0 for 2. And I don't remember either one of them. 
A little bit of weave action. Verveldi has it. Was looking inside, but uh, didn't toss it in there. Sheely guarding Korber. That's a pretty good matchup. Couple of big kids. Radiati being guarded by uh, Tyler Zastro. Remember, Zastro's got four fouls. He's got to play smart. Korber, turnaround jumper is in. We play enough overtimes, Chris, they might get the 60. And the ball thrown away again. Verveldi. Good move by Verveldi to just take it to the hoops. Astro couldn't do anything about it. 43-39. 20th turnover on Lutheran. Almost 21 right there. Get to the basket. Phil Lightpop. That's an easy two. Christian with just five baskets in the uh, second half. Well, there's enough, I guess. Christian or Lutheran only had three in the first half. Good help defense by Zastro. You can help off of Adi because he's not going to take the shot. <laughs> Zastro. Oh, I think I got away with one there, coach. <laughs> it was number five that didn't call it. Get it inside to Korber. He gets fouled. I think Sheely's going to pick up the foul. For uh, Ryan, that's his fourth. Eight for 15. That one's pure. That was pure. He's got three of the points in the overtime. Now you know why I wanted him out there. <laughs> Good He's call, tall. Coach. Isn't basketball for tall kids? Oh, but here from here. Zastro got it. Nails a three. That was a big one. Ties it up at 44. You know, I didn't look from it good from his release, Marty, but she went down. He's got a funny release, you know, and he gets his feet kind of cockeyed, yeah. too. You know, it's not a pure shooter's type of motion. Juris guarding Rasmussen. Inside feet, Kelly again. Lowers the shoulder and uh, commits the offensive foul. He has four. Well, he's... <laughs> It just looks so distinctive when he does it. That's the problem, Marty. You know, he really does dip it. That's a replay. Let's see if we can see it. Right here. Boom. Yep. Easy call. Good replay. Really nice catch by Zastro on a high pass. And then Zastro trying to throw the ball inside, had it picked off. Another turnover for him. Eight. Yeah, that's way too many. He's got to be more careful with the ball. A minute left. We're all tied. 44 all. Sheely guarding Korber, and he's got good post position yeah. in there. Had Sheely pinned. And Zastro with the steal. Uh, pardon me, Lipom with the steal. Got it to Zastro. And then a foul on Phil Zastro. Phil Lipom. Not another technical. Oh boy. Oh boy. I know that's pretty ticky tack on a foul technical. Did yeah. you hear what he said? No. I he said, why didn't you? He, Jacob asked him, he says, why didn't you call it over there? Well, I mean, come on. Like you said, how many technicals have we seen all year? 
All right, he's got and it seemed like he had to give him that. And this is a big play because he's get four free throws. Four free throws. Graham Berveldi nails the first one. He has uh, eight points in the game. Off the bench, I might add. You know, sometimes if a player talks, you just answer the question and walk away. Now Kelly's going to go up there for the tech. Oh. Caleb Kelly's going to shoot two for the yep, technical. And then they get the and ball. They get the ball. They had the ball back anyway, but they get the extra two free throws. But they can't make any money. No. They're 10 for 19. Well, they got the lead. <laughs> and the ball, so. Yeah. You're right, coach. <laughs> wow. It's got to be frustrating for the fans and the coaching staff and Astro. the players. Astro with four. Rasmussen penetrating. They got the lead. There's 35 seconds left. Lutheran can't let them get away. Kelly comes away with it and he rolls it in. How'd he do it? 47-44, 20 seconds left. Juris had it open for? and why didn't he shoot it? I mean, uh, light bomb there, wide open. What are we waiting for? Under 10 seconds. Now they're in trouble. Juris had a look right away and yeah. uh, he, he just didn't shoot it. I don't know why. If I'm Sheboygan Christian, I am fouling. 47-44, there's uh, exactly nine seconds left. I am fouling right away, I, or actually I let him catch it in the backcourt and then foul him. Don't let you beat you on a three. I like the chance, they had how many looks here, and not one person pulled the trigger as the clock keeps running and running. Now you gotta call timeout, this is not maybe, good for us. Maybe you don't call, maybe you don't foul them, because they're not gonna shoot the three anyway. Oh, they'll shoot the three, I would foul. I like falling here. Uh, on the flip side, just a little bit, I've, you know, I've watched several college games this year, and uh, they've run into the same situation, and the defense has never fouled. You know, they've always let the other team get it down and, and uh, take the shot, I guess. But I, they I've, seen a game where, I've seen a game where they fouled. But, hey, uh, before we get too far, i got to mention our last game, our last scheduled game is... Uh, February 15th, that's uh, next Friday, and we're right back here. Gore comes in to uh, Lutheran to uh, play a CLC game, and that'll be our last scheduled game, and we'll have to wait and see about tournament action. All righty. Bill Lightbomb's going to toss it in. Hess has it. Chile. for each team in the quarter. That puts us at 47-47. And we're going to go to OT number two. Are you connected? If you don't have access to internet, you aren't going to be able to take advantage of anything. The internet is essential to the basics in life, housing, health care, employment. I personally benefited from broadband because I was able to fill out different applications and I'm Pretty positive that I'll get another job. To get connected, call 866-765-9118 or visit changeyourtomorrow.org. If everyone had access to the internet, people's lives would be changed. Connect today. Change your tomorrow. Back at uh, Lutheran High, getting ready to start the second overtime. Chris, I was going to say, Sheboygan Lutheran in regulation, one of 16, hitting threes in overtime. <laughs> hey, timing is everything. <laughs> I'll tell you, Marty, I would have fouled him there. I would have fouled him. Why would you let him shoot? Well, last time we 
had the center jump. Uh, Barber jumped the ball and got the tip. Let's see uh, what happens here. Went right to Rasmussen. Lifebomb's cheating this time. And the uh, ball is tipped out of bounds. Lutheran will have the first possession. You know, neither team missed a basket in that overtime. Is that right? Yep, three of three. Now we had our share of turnovers, which we had. Juris down the lane, puts it up and in. Nice pass from Phil, Phil Leipom. Rivaldi, this is where the fouls start to... Uh, you know, when you're sitting with four fouls like Zastro is, and Sheely, and Juris. Zastro with a steal, and then he throws it off of uh, Brady Adi. Adi also sitting with four, as is Caleb Kelly. <laughs> Each team with 22 turnovers now. I tell you, I don't like. Sometimes I don't like the way Zastro passes the ball. He's very careless. Step through, no shot is no good. Our first miss in overtime. Radiati had it. It's 49-47, and. Boy, Christian had those four free throws and the ball, Marty, in a tie basketball game. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two for six from the line was Christian in yeah. the, the overtime. That uh, was key. Yeah, Kelly did get the basket, I will say that, but uh, well, no, he didn't. It was a turnover. He got it later. Oh, no, he did get it on that possession. I apologize. There's two technical free throws where he didn't make either one hurt. Rivaldi down the lane, throws it up and in. Nothing to this game, Chris. Kids are playing hard, Marty. And Corber with a steal. Zastro trying to get it back, but couldn't. Rivaldi pull up seven footer. is good. He's got two in a row. He feels it. Good decision by that young man. Christian now up. Juris. That time he took it, but couldn't get it to go. Looked good. Looked real good, Marty. Yeah, he's right on line. Still two minutes in the ball game here. Rasmussen uh, breaking the press. Under two minutes, you're right. 51-49, Christian on top. They've had an answer, Chris. They've always had an answer this game. Feet inside to Korber. Good patience by that young man not to force it. And Castro comes over and ties him up. Christian ball. Rivaldi again uh, showing good uh, judgment there. Phil's Astros on Caleb Kelly. That's a good matchup underneath too. 30 seconds off. Juris, good idea, just a little late. Rasmussen, dagger, oh. bingo baby. That could be the dagger, five point lead, minute left. But Life Bomb could respond. Go Life Bomb. Make that fan. How about that? 54 wow. 52 and a scramble in the corner for the ball. And they're saying it's going to go to Christian. Timeout's got a full timeout by Christian. 
Let's take a short break. There's 51.2 seconds left. Christian on top and the ball, 54-52. I assess the needs of a community to make sure that our work will be sustainable. We are working to change the world to make it a better place. Through our sustainable engineering projects, thousands of members in more than 225 universities and professional chapters work to support these efforts in over 45 countries. To find out more about how you can get involved, go to www.ewb-usa.org and click Get Involved. Build a better world with us. Build a better world with us. Build a better world with us, one community at a time. Let's get pumped. All right, see what happens. Who's, who's it off of? That was the play that um, was right before the timeout, and the uh, corner official didn't see it. He asked his partner, who was around half court, and said he saw it go off a of white. Hard to tell from our angle. But uh, Christian has the ball and the lead. Well, you get into that tacky situation, Chris, you know how much time do you let him run off and do you have a guy like Zastro commit his fifth foul? Force free throws. Tipped away by Jerry Zastro. Scores and he's fouled. The person that made the play, though, was uh, Jeff Juris with the tip away. Brady Howard and Adi gets fouled out. And, uh, you know, we talked about it. That's what happens. You know, sometimes people think that as early falls, you know, they don't mean much. You know, just don't commit another stupid one. But uh, they all count. Zastro has 14 points, 16 points, looking for number 17. 55, 54. 45 seconds left. Lutheran on top by one. Kelly has it in the backcourt. He's got to get it across. He goes through the lane, lost the ball on the way up. Lutheran has it back. They didn't get, they, they're going to give him the timeout first, not the foul. It'll be a timeout by Lutheran. Now, what were you thinking when Lutheran was bringing the ball up right here? Call timeout or, or you know what I was thinking? Get it to Zastro. You know they're gonna fall. Right, right. Get it to your guard or get it to the guy who's just made a free throw. I guess would be a better idea. Well, it's uh, been crazy. It's uh, very crazy. You're right. And uh, I thought that three pointer there was the big dagger there by Rasmussen, but give up uh, Ben Lightbomb coming right back and hitting the three. And then uh, the Wayne turtle. Larrabee's uh, not very happy with you, Coach. You know? <laughs> Just goes to show, like Yogi says, it's never over till it's over. Yeah, and <laughs> who knows what can happen in the next 27 seconds. <laughs> really, that's a long time. Especially in this game with all the action here. Uh, we had mentioned it early on in the first quarter. A lot of up and down. Not all of it pretty, but certainly exciting. And the effort's been there. The yes. kids have played very hard. Yep. And uh, it's a rivalry game, and it just shows what can happen. Wow. Get it in to Zastro, and the fall right away is on Caleb Kelly, and I oh, believe no. that's his fifth. Why would you just put him in there? That was just, again, put anybody in the game and have him foul and not have Kelly. And then put him in on offense. Hey, uh, your, your number one offensive person is now out of the game. And he's, you know, I don't think he realized he no. had four falls. And that, you got it. I mean, you got, that's why you have bench players. Well, that's why you have personnel, right. assistant coaches. Right. Your scorer at the table. Right. Hey, coach, he's got four fouls. So don't have him foul. Checking in the ball game is uh, Tyler Minert. And Zastro will be at the line again. You know, and you could have brought Kelly in right here because you knew you were going to foul right away. So just get him. Uh, that's too bad. Played a nice game, Caleb. 
Very nice game, Caleb. With 26.5 seconds left, Zastro makes another free throw. That gives Lutheran a two-point lead. Make it a three-point lead. He has 19 points. He's wow. his average. <laughs> no points in the first half. Yeah. Didn't make a basket forever. Didn't make a basket to the late third, third quarter. Third quarter, he had a three-point play. That was it. So yeah. through three quarters, he only had three points. For Valdi, jumper from 10 is no good. Leinert, and foul is going to be called on Korber. It's almost as bad someone has to lose it. this one, Marty. Yeah. Hey. I'll bet it's still snowing when we get out there, too, but who cares? <laughs> this has been fun. Hey, these are the kind of games. This is why we do this job. It ain't even a job. It's fun. Yep. That's not a job. Castro now with 20. He's made five free throws in a row. Fifty-nine, fifty-four. It's going to be it. Rasmussen shot is no good. And that's the ball game. Lutheran escapes with a fifty-nine, fifty-four win. But uh, give both teams a lot of credit, like I said, for the effort. Double overtime, exciting ball game rivalry. Wow, wow. That's all I can say. Chris is going to step out, see if he can get a, got a, get a couple of kids to interview. We'll figure out some stats, and uh, we'll be right back. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn. And slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel. I am a Packer fan. And we're Packers fans. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We are the ultimate team players. The ultimate team player, be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packer fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Hi, I'm Rosie Greer. As a former NFL player, I know the value of teamwork. That's why I'm here with my friend and prostate cancer survivor, Charlie Wilson. Each year, more than 32,000 die from prostate cancer. African American men are 60% more likely to be diagnosed with the disease and more than twice as likely to die from it. Caught early, this cancer is highly treatable. If you're over 40, man up. Speak to your doctor about your prostate health. The Prostate Cancer Foundation is leading the way in discovering better treatments and cures. Together, we can take aim against prostate cancer. Every day, thousands of people suffer from sudden cardiac arrest. Would you know how to help? Or would they be all alone? Learn what to do at heartrescuenow.com. He serves his party best who serves the country best, Rutherford B. Hayes. Patriotism is easy to understand in America. It means looking out for yourself by looking out for your country. Calvin Coolidge. Government is the people's business, and every man, woman, and child becomes a shareholder with the first penny of tax paid. Ronald Reagan. There's nothing wrong in America that can't be fixed of what is right in America. William Clinton. Be the we now. We're back here with uh, Light Bomb and Light Bomb Phil. 
Well, last game, a two-point game. This one, a double overtime game. You know, when you have rivalry games and you kind of say it's going to be a close game, you guys really live up to it. That's right. They like to play hard against us. I mean, they've had a up-and-down season, but so have we. They love playing against us, and they like to beat us. But uh, it's been a tough uh, tough reward, especially last game against them at their place. Two-point loss, but it was great to go after them and get them this time. First half today, you guys had three baskets. What? Just couldn't get anything in there. What coach said at the... Uh Coach said we had to stop shooting so many three-pointers. We had to get inside the lane and uh, attack. Uh, we got them in foul trouble and double bonus usually the whole game. So uh, we did a lot better job of that in the second half and uh, started making some three-pointers too, so that always helps. Kind of ironic. You guys were one of 16 on threes through the first start of the game. And then overtime, I think you the light. Shooting's crazy, isn't it? That's right. It's not all about the shooting, though. It's about the defense. We team under 60 points and it's even a double overtime our defense is what sparked us the whole game so good point you guys did create 22 turnovers or 23 turnovers and you know actually that leads to extra opportunities for you guys ex exactly and I heard coach Verhagen kind of comment about how the defense for you guys really stepped up yeah so uh, finally some team defense we were talking out there a lot of playing help closing out on shooters boxing out it was great to finally play like a team again it was good feeling <laughs> Well, congratulations to you. Basically the only senior on the squad here. The what kind of want to uh, win for you here? This is a great win for me. I wanted to go out against Christian. This, I mean, this is a huge rivalry game. I've been dreaming about playing in this game since I was a kid in the stands over there. So awesome way to go out and double overtime with a victory. Couldn't be much better. Yeah, it was a, it was a great game to call. I mean, it wasn't the prettiest game, but it was very exciting. And the yeah. effort out there by both teams was just outstanding. Yeah, it's a huge energy rivalry game. It lived up to the expectation. I think, again, both games this season did. It's being close. Pretty good look on that three there. I <laughs> thought you guys were in trouble. I actually kind of called the dagger. So right, I, I, yeah, that was yeah. a big clutch three. Way to come back. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I practiced that in the mornings a lot. And I got to cut my brother for hitting me with the pass. <laughs> he knows I can hit that, so I got to cut it in for the pass. There. That was just clutch. There was so many moments in the game. You can't look at one thing, miss free throws or basket here. I mean, it's just every Such an game. yeah. It's just every possession just was so intensified. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, the energy was crazy. Uh, defense was everywhere. Lots of turnovers. Any basket we could get was tough. So, I mean, fighting for any basket was a big deal to get those points to get the victory. One last question for you. You kind of answered it already, but uh, being a senior and this rivalry game, kind of this, and the experience of the run last year, how's it been playing here at uh, Lutheran High for you? <laughs> I've been wanting to play Lutheran High since I was a little kid. You know, sitting up in the stands, like I said earlier. And um, it's been awesome. I love it. So wouldn't want anything else. Wouldn't want to go in a different way. I love it. Well, congratulations, gentlemen. It was a great victory. A great game to call, I'll tell you that. Uh, we'll be back next Friday to see you guys. Well, so, with, so with that, we'll send it back to Marty. All right, good job on the interviews, Chris. Uh, one more time, the final score was 59 to 52 and 54 in two overtimes. Lutheran a winner. With the win, Lutheran goes to a 13 and 7 on the season, 11 and 3 in conference. Uh, Christian drops to uh, 6 and 13 overall, and 5 and 8 in conference. Uh, leading scorers for uh, Sheboygan County Christian, Caleb Kelly, at 17. Graham Vervelde had an excellent ball game off the bench with 14, and James Rasmussen was uh, a definite threat. Chris thought he had the dagger, but it wasn't to be. He finished with 13 points. For uh, Lutheran, uh, Pastor Berglund gave Zastro with 18 points. I had him with 21, so I'm going to stick with that. Zastro had 21. Phil Leipom and Ben Leipom each had 9, and Jacob Juris had 8. Uh, our next basketball game is going to be uh, Friday, February 15th, when Kohler comes to Lutheran. Uh, for the crew, Scott Maloff, our director, great job on the uh, replays, Scott. And the cameraman, Eric Wiesman and Richard Bartson. And for my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.